341-8255, the New Orleans Talk Network. are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. The New Orleans Talk Network. are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. The New Orleans Talk Network. are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. The New Orleans Talk Network. are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. The New Orleans Talk Network. are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. Happy Merry Monday. You've tuned in to Real Talk with Mary J. And we're live all the way from New Orleans, NewOrleansTalkNetwork.com. I am your host, Mary J. Thank you to all of my listening audience all around the world. I hope you're having a happy Merry Monday. I sure am. We're live in the studio. We're having a grand time on today. It's Monday, and guess what? It's festival time. We just came out of Jazz Fest, you guys, and we're talking about Entrepreneur Street. I have in the show with me on today. I'm excited about it. Alonzo Alonzo Knox is here, and Liz Lerman Butler is sharing with us. So we're excited to have both of these guests in with us on today. How are you guys today? Well, thank you for having us. I am glad to have you guys to share with us. Listen, guys, I'm talking about Entrepreneur Street. I don't know if it's a word. I made it up. It's my (laughs) own. I can do what I want. That's the creative power that I have right here on Real Talk with Mary J, you guys. But listen, we have our business owners that are sharing with us today. And I want them to come to you guys in their own way, let you know what they what they do, who they are. Let's start with Alonzo Knox. He's the entrepreneur, business owner, and operator of Back of Town. Guys, if you don't know what Back of Town is, you better find out. You better yes. find out what Back of Town <laughs> is. It's hot. And it is a new coffee parlor right here in the city off of base and so Lon- Alonzo welcome S- excuse me for calling you Lonzo I always give no, people no, short names this is Elizabeth and I just say Liz so yes, welcome, to the, welcome to the show welcome to the show thank you for having me yes yes tell the people who you are and what you do well I'm Alonzo Knox um, half owner of Back of Town Coffee Parlor uh, my wife and I uh, yes. I handle the operations part of the uh, coffee shop the uh, front end and my wife handles a lot of the back end and special events. We're located at 301 Basin Street, Suite 1, right downtown, and we're easy accessible. And yeah. if you haven't been there, I encourage everyone to come out. It's a nice vibe. It's a nice, uh, Very uh, nice. spirit that exists there. Uh, we pride ourselves on customer service and quality products, and we just think we are we're the uh, hottest 
Yes, you right are. Now, yes, so. you are the hottest. And listen, if you <laughs> like coffee, where well, I love mochas. I love me a good chocolate mocha. And mm -hmm. I went into back of town and I asked for a mocha. And I'm telling you, it was great. It was great. So mm -hmm. I do coffee shops, Starbucks. Ooh, Starbucks, you about to get off my chart. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I'll you know, visit like you. I'll <laughs> visit you every now and then. But back of town is probably going to be my place to yes. be. Um, I'll be seeing a lot of you there. I'll be Thank seeing. You. So welcome Thank again you. on the show today. And Liz, Liz, Hi. tell the people who you are and what you do. So I am Liz Lerman Butler. Um, I'm a graphic designer and an artist. Um, I'll definitely be coming to Baca Town to work yes. on my graphic design because yes. I'm always yes. looking for a place yeah. to sit down. That's and what I do too. Stuff. I work yes. out from coffee shops. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I just finished school um, doing a graphic design program at Tulane School of Continuing Studies. Um, and yeah. Look at your product on the screen, oh, Liz. Nice. That was my final project for my uh, in school. Yeah. Yes, Liz does some amazing work as well. So we're going to keep it rolling on Real Talk with Mary J. You guys, listen, back of town, I have Alonzo Knox sharing with us and Liz Lerman Butler sharing with us with our graphic designs. And I think it's just so, when I think of art, you know, the creative ability that comes from art, and it's in all forms, whether it's in making pastries and coffees and serving customers, you know, it's just how you present. And if you mm -hmm. present in a creative way, you can catch the attraction of the customer. And when I went in the back of town, you guys, just the vibe of the space, you know, the eclectic look of the space, it has that you know, rustic kind of vintage and modern look mm -hmm. feel. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And, um, and, you know, it's a good place, especially for those artists like me who are writing. I'm a writer, you guys, and I go into different spaces just to create and write. Um, back of town is a good place to be. And if you are a business owner or you have your own business and you're looking for a spot just to kind of get, you know, away. Because I don't like working at home all the time. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yes. I like to get out of the house and get into another scene, you know, and write creatively and do my work there. So if you're looking for that kind of spot, you can find it at Back of Town, okay? And Liz, my girl Liz, Liz is doing all sorts of things. She's creating <laughs> logos, a graphic designer, um, creating covers for books as well, because mm -hmm. I'm a book writer and I say, hey Liz, if I need you to create a cover for my book, you know, can you do that? And she said, absolutely. So I want you all to just tell them um, some of the things. Let's see um, how you exactly got started, Liz. Why did you become a graphic designer? What is that all about? Well, I've been an artist my whole life. I have just been going down the list. Okay, do I want to be a fashion designer? No. <laughs> I tried that. I went to Paris. You look wonderful in your fashions, too. Thank I you. saw your vintage look um, yes. of the little boutique that you're actually selling yes. your clothing. Pretty cool. <laughs> I like it. I like yes. it. Yes. So, yeah, that wasn't for me. Mm. I actually felt like I needed to work with my hands, so I actually became a baker, a bread baker, pastry artist, doing chocolate sculptures and all this stuff. And yeah. Yeah. Gained too much weight. The hours were not for me, <laughs> so moved on. So this graphic design thing feels pretty good. Right, right. Yeah, so I think that this will be, you know, it for a while. And, you know, always working on my own illustrations, paintings, drawings, digital digital paintings too, so. Yeah, let's talk about that digital design that you do. Yeah. You do some type of animation I saw. Yeah. Um, what is that about? Let's talk about that. So animation is just so much fun. I have always loved animated movies, like every Pixar, every Disney. Mm -hmm. That's for me, I'm never too old for it. Mm -hmm. When I was a teen and all my friends were watching MTV, I was like, I don't know about that. I'm just going to stick to my Nickelodeon. <laughs> like, I just love animation. Mm -hmm. um, so I recently started dabbling in it, um, just making little GIFs, like little, you know, looping GIFs. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. And you make the little tinctures for the bottles and then you do the animation. So, uh, the bottles is actually a different thing. So that's a graphic that's design a graphic. client that I have. She makes tinctures, salves, lotions, um, and I helped her with her branding. So I created a logo for her, um, packaging, labels, doing her website. 
pretty cool stuff. Yeah, pretty anything cool. visual, I'm in. Pretty cool yeah. stuff. Great, great. I love it, too. And I, I got a chance to look at some of your artwork and just mm -hmm. to see how amazing mm -hmm. you are, especially the bottles and the artwork for the graphics, you know, yeah. the details of that. You know, yeah. and I'm a detail mm -hmm. person, so yes. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then we have Alonzo, you guys. I'm telling you. Mochas. <laughs> and those of you that know my show, I usually drink mochas on the show, but now I got another type of mocha that I would be doing, you know, um, right there at Back of Town. So, Alonzo, how did you get started? Why did you choose to go into this industry of the coffee shop, the coffee parlor? Well, it's interesting because I'm actually not a heavy coffee drinker, but uh -huh. I do like the uh, idea of going into a space where I can think, relax, and be creative. Uh, and so for myself, I yeah. wanted something like that. And I have a lot of friends who also wanted the same thing. So the space where we're located, um, you don't find a coffee shop there. And right. so the opportunity presented itself and it afforded me uh, the ability to go in and be creative. Um, as a kid, I've always been an entrepreneur, yeah. say. Um, yes. I've always admired the notion of someone being able to run and own their own business. Right. I was that kid that would watch Dallas and Dynasty, if I'm not telling Me my too. age. Me too, right. Me you know, too. Man, Me too. I, I was Alexis to Carrington. Yeah, yeah, I was Blake <laughs> Carrington. You know, he was cool. Yeah. He was suave. Everybody right. loved Blake. He was right. the gentleman. And so that was the, uh, I was the model I wanted to be. Yeah. And so I said, I want to have all sorts of business. And so... Coffee was something that came into mind, and again, it's, it's because great of the seller. space. It's it really a great is. Seller, it really yeah. is. It really is. And, and we're introducing ourselves into teas, and mm, teas are great. now outpacing our coffee sales. So, wow. um, yeah, and so uh, the space where we're located at uh, 301 Basin Street, uh, my wife did the design. Did um, she? Yeah, the location is historically known as Storyville. I okay. don't know if many people know that, but it is once considered one of three red light districts okay uh, where there was legalized prostitution really and the space where we're located was once uh filled with brownstones wow and those were brothels and uh, i didn't know that yes yes and some of the uh, wealthiest women in america uh -huh. actually lived there and interestingly enough most of them were mulattoes mm -hmm. or um women who kind of passed uh, but wow. they were of African descent. And uh, the interesting thing is that African-American males mm -hmm. couldn't be customers of those prostitutes. Mm. Wow. And they couldn't own anything in that particular district, but they can come in and play the music. And uh, that's where a lot of your traditional brass was given birth to. And yeah. so when that space became available, it intrigued me, the history, because I'm yes. somewhat of a history buff, and the, the history that went along with the trendiness of it. Yes. It was known for setting the fashion trend. It was known for setting the music and the art. And so I thought how interesting it would be to bring that back but put a positive spin on it. That's pretty cool. So that's what attracted me uh, to that particular location and the business instead of being a bar brothel. We right. do coffee and teas. Oh. And so that's the flip of the negative. That is awesome. Yeah. You know, I had no idea because when I saw it, I didn't even realize that it was a space that had been pre existent because yes. the way that you all have just pulled it together and make mm -hmm. it, you know, that vintage modern kind mm -hmm. of feel, it looks like it like you put it there. You know, yeah. you know, yeah, it's pretty you. cool. I love it. I now even yeah. more the concept. So why the name Back of Town? The back of town uh, was a name, actually, it was one of about five names we had in mind initially. Uh -huh. um, my good friend, Jared Sampson, uh, who is a marketing communication expert, he organized for us a focus group of, of individuals who are native to New Orleans as well as those who were recently located here. Okay. And it was very diverse in terms of age, race, ginger, ginger and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, of the names, Back of Town rose to the top of the list, and uh, if anyone is native to New Orleans, they yes, know that Back of Town exactly. is the area back of the French Quarter. Right. And so that name resonated, and it resonated for a number of reasons. Uh, for those who were old enough to remember, it was a common place to reference uh, that area's Back of Town. And for the new who question well, what is actually Back of Town, right. and once they learn, it's a conversational piece. It's a conversational yeah. piece, and it's continues to be a conversational piece for everyone who comes into the shop. You know, where did their name come from? And so 
that's how we ended up with the name. Back of town, yeah. you know. And if you if you native New Orleans too, just the accent, you know, I'm yeah. going back yeah. of town, right. you know. Back of town. Yeah, I like the sound of it and I like what you're getting ready to do with it because I had an opportunity to speak to you about some mm -hmm. new ventures that you're getting ready to step into. We're back of town, so it's yes. gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So I am so excited to have these entrepreneurs on the show with us right here on Real Talk with Mary J. Listen, guys, if you have any questions you want to dial in, feel free to dial into the studio today at 504-341-8255. Again, that's 504-341-TALK. You know, you'll be able to talk to us. Ask these entrepreneurs about how do they get started. If you're an entrepreneur yourself and you're getting ready to venture out, you can venture out on today on Real Talk with Mary J. So I have Liz Butler with us, sharing with us today, and Alonzo Knox. We're getting ready to go into commercial break in just a bit, but we don't want you to go anywhere. We want you to stay right there. Go ahead and share right now. Go share on your Facebook page and invite others to join in with us. And we have more to come right after this commercial break. Back of town. Like it, like the sound. listeners are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. The New Orleans Talk Network. What's up, readers and shapers? It's your girl, Rhonda M. Lawson, sending you a personal invite to the Literary Lounge. Tune in to Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions each Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for the best in literary conversation. Each week, a different author will join us to talk to their most important readers, you. You can also call in to ask your own questions. So don't forget, each Wednesday at 7 p.m., join us in the lounge for Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions. See you there. We're back. Talk What You Know returns on Wednesday mornings at 8 a.m. We got a brand new co-host by the name of Bob B. And hey, that's me. Also, we got some new features. We're going to be giving away have a weekly raffle of prizes. Uh, there are multiple ways for you to win, and there's a bevy of prizes. So we need you to come on back, join us on Wednesday mornings at 8 o'clock for Talk What You Know on the New Orleans Talk Network. Now, now New Orleans has a choice. Download the New Orleans Talk Network app for your mobile device or listen at www.neworleanstalknetwork.com. in the studio on today. We're keeping it live before you on today. Listen, guys, we're talking about Entrepreneur Street with the one and only. I got my girl Liz Lerman Butler in the show with us on today and Alonzo Knox. We're having a great time because we're talking about how to make your business thrive. Those things that you got started in, what are you doing um, that's making your business boom? And I'm telling you, back of town is booming. They have some great things that they bring before us. And, you know, Alonzo is going to tell you a little bit more about it because 
because we talked about it and I have my own list. I don't know if you know, I have my movie club. You have to come and share with us. So we have our movie club, Mary J Movie Club. Ladies, if you want to be a part of that, connect with me on Real Talk with Mary J and you can be a part of our movie club. Share with us. It's all girls, gents, all girls, because I get men saying, can guys come? No, you can't come. It's our, sh- <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's our little social spot where we come together and discuss our movies and we're having a wonderful time listen i just watched awesome. last night my girl taraji p again on mm. proud mary who would have guessed <laughs> you should know the movie i love it i just watched it again last night i went and saw the movie and then of course um we got to sit and sip so back of town will be one of those spots that we'll be oh, doing our nice. sit and sips in as well because we need to catch up on our last movie acrimony so we mm. want to share with that so liz Listen, girl, you started your own thing. You yes. stepped out in there because you got tired of doing the bread thing. It was making you fat, putting, yeah. on, <laughs> putting on those calories, yeah. right? Not cute. I'm a bread eater, too. Yeah. I love it. I love sweets as well. Um, so you started doing that. And because you're so creative, see, that's the thing about being um, creative that you can draw, you can do animation, you can do graphic design. So you were able to pick, even baking the breads, you were able to pick what what really was working for you, right? Yeah, totally. Yeah, so let's talk about um, the graphic designs and the animations, Mm -hmm. all of that that you do. Um, How did you really get started with it? You know, how did you you really get started? Because we have graphic designers that are just kind of doing their own thing. but launching out and starting your own business and yeah. getting those clients, how did you how did you get so started? So I knew that I would need to find my own freelance clients to get started. I knew that nobody was gonna really hire me until I had some work to show for myself. Right, right. So luckily I have lots of friends with small businesses and I said like I will do your branding for you. Right and just send me some samples of your stuff, you know, Mm -hmm. send me some lotions and I will make your logos and all that stuff. So, um, yeah, just whoever needed um, assistance, I would help. A friend of mine has a small, um, uh, what is it called, like a photo booth business. So she goes to events and puts puts together a little photo booth. So I created her business cards and logos and then like I was saying about the tinctures and the salves did that for a friend so really started just reaching out to friends that I knew didn't have much presence or branding yet right and help them along that's that's nice and that's that's what it's all about too you know Mm -hmm. being able to take your creative gift and you know because you have to be a business-minded person when you're going into business so (laughs) taking your creative idea and being able to take a business or somebody that has another creative ability and just putting them out in the forefront and using your branding to make that happen yeah Yeah, to show that you know they're my friends I love them I care about them I want their businesses to succeed that's wonderful yeah so I tried even harder to really give them the best product that I could. That's awesome. Yeah. That's Uh awesome because um, usually when you have friends, you know, sometimes your friend be like, because it's just Liz, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, they they put you on the back burner a lot Mm. of times and they do what they got to do to get their stuff up and going. But that's that's good that you were able to do that. Listen, you guys, can you put Liz's product on the screen if you have those ten of those bottles? to show her design, her logos, um, what she's created. Look at that, that's awesome work. That is really professional work. Wow. Yeah, so it's a hand-drawn illustration. On all of my logos and branding, I always love to do um, hand-drawn illustrations and even the um, typography is hand-done, so I do hand lettering as well. That is awesome. Um, Yeah, and then and so you did all the packaging as well. Yeah, all the packaging, measuring everything out to make sure it fits on the different bottles. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I yeah, like. so luckily I love math. 
So math is like very heavily involved in graphic design, especially okay. for packaging, making sure everything fits perfectly. Yeah. So, you know, thank you to my high school math teachers. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Yeah. I love it. And so you talked about as, as um, book binding and yes. graphic art on the books as well. Tell yes. us a little bit about so that. So I've been working um, at Paper Machine which is a, um, it's a large facility for all different printing businesses over in Araby. Mm -hmm. um, but I work for the company that specializes in book publication, okay. and that's Antenna Works. They're a local book publication, so mostly art books, um, artists that want to sell books of their work. Right. So we actually, you know, print everything there, we trim all the paper, we bind it with, I've learned probably five or six binding techniques. Okay. Um, sometimes, some projects we actually do the layout design, others they give it to us already made. Um, you know, we also do posters and all postcards and business cards. All and you printed. pretty much can do all of the graphic artwork for the, the front cover and the illustrations yeah. throughout the book as yes. well. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. It's wonderful. Fun. Anything that anything that I can do with my hands and is visual, I'm a happy camper. Awesome. <laughs> Isn't that awesome to to take your creative abilities and make it work for yeah. yourself as well, you know. Mm -hmm. And and one thing that I love because if you go to my Instagram page, you'll see especially my personal page. I don't have a lot of friends there because I like to keep it <laughs> personal <laughs> cuz yeah, cuz certain things I like to show and post that are family oriented or friendly yeah. Yeah. oriented. I don't want the whole world to right. see. Um but one of my captions on my page, my profile is um you know, do what you love and love what you do. You know, yes. I think that if you do what you love, you love what you do, mm -hmm. that makes it even more creative. You put mm -hmm. your all into it when it's something that yeah. you really love to do. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it makes yeah. every day worth living to the fullest. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So Alonzo, with um, what we talked about, you know, as it relates to getting ready to bring in um, just some new um, vibe and some new feel and flow to um, back of town. Talk to us about that. Let us know what you're getting ready to do because I'm excited. I was excited when oh, yeah. we started talking about it. Yeah, we're excited to have you and your, your ladies come. Thank uh, you. One thing that we're doing currently is we're um, expanding on what we launched, Art Fusion. Yes. Art Fusion is a monthly event that's held uh, every first Friday of the month and it goes from 5 to 7 and it features local artists uh, and their works, whatever it may be. And it's called Art Fusion because we fuse art, music, and fashion at Ooh, that particular event. So that kind of spot. Yeah, yeah, so the artist comes and basically does an open reception. Uh, there's that. an acoustic uh, yes. performer that's there. Uh, and there's obviously fashionable people who are there as well. And that sets the whole tone and vibe of the event. Yeah. And so uh, it has been one of our most successful events since we've been in business. Another event we're bringing. Um, and that's every first Friday? That's every first Friday. Okay, what time is that for? Five to seven. Okay. Five p.m. to Five seven to p.m. I'll be coming. Yes, I'll be coming. Yes, please do. And on second Sundays, we have what we call one mic. And it is spoken word poetry. Um, and it is a powerful event. If you haven't ever been to a spoken word type yeah. literature event, yeah, you I want have. to come to right. this one. Mm -hmm. um, it's very powerful. We're getting ready also to launch a um, pop-up chef series where we're going to invite local chefs to come into the space and cool. uh, set a menu and introduce themselves and uh, their creative culinary skills um, to anyone who's interested to come. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You talked, you just spoke to me about um, something you wanted to do. Are you still doing something with the wine? Or are you going to do like a sit and sip there as well? We are developing that. Uh, what we're thinking of rolling that out to look like is the customer brings their wine that's and we yay. will offer a cork fee to do it. Awesome. And so that, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what we're. 
in the works okay. up right now. Okay, see, yeah. so there's a lot going on at back of town. <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah. I yes. love it. I love it because, see, that that's so me. When you have the creative ability, mm -hmm. that creative power, and there's, there's so many ideas that you have, and you have the space that you can say, hey, mm -hmm. we can do this on this night. We can do this exactly. on Sunday night. Right. We can. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. So back of town, you guys, I'm telling you, <laughs> you better find out where back of town is. It's right yeah. there on Basin Street, um, a couple of box, blocks off of Canal, right? right? Just right. a couple of blocks off of Canal, mm -hmm. a real nice spot. See, I'm going to share with you guys because I usually don't tell people where I go. <laughs> you know, that'd be my little own getaway, my little hideaway spot to just vibe and do my yeah. own work. But, um, yeah, it's happening right there at Back of Town. So you don't want to miss that. You want to um, go Google them, find out where you can um, find them, um, and get with them on a Friday night or Sunday night. It's going to be hot. I love it already. Yes. Yeah, our girls will be there. We'll be there, right? Yeah. We'll be there. Yeah. So, guys, we're talking about Back of Town with pastries and coffees. What What is some of your favorite um, on the menu? Because I heard you say in the beginning that you're not a big coffee drinker. Neither mm -hmm. am I. But if you give me a good mocha, we're going to be friends. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be friends because that's that's just my drink. Right. And I came into your um, into your place of business and I was looking on the menu and I said, because I like white chocolate mocha. And I mm -hmm. said, do you all have a chocolate mocha? And the guy said, yeah, we have mocha. You want? And when I went to my seat and he brought me that cup of mocha. <laughs> If you go to my Instagram page, you'll see I'm a foodie. I'm a big person of um, eating and stuff. I, w I should be 180-something <laughs> pounds, but um, I'm telling the way I love to eat, and uh, I love what you have. And so I didn't know that you had all these other amazing dishes as well until Chef Stephen um, sent me some of your dishes. I was like, wow, I could have been yeah. eating that while I was there. <laughs> you know, I didn't know. I was thinking it was just pastries and, right. and coffees. You know, mm -hmm. Tell them some of the stuff that you have on the menu as well. Well, we're basically a coffee shop. Um, mm -hmm. I have reservations of becoming known more than that right? Um, for a number of business reasons. Um, but we are a coffee shop and we offer the basics that coffee shops offer. Mm -hmm. But we always try to elevate just a little bit more at back of town. Um, yeah. We have uh, a popular item, our crawfish quiche. Yes, I um, saw that. One of my, oh my personal gosh. favorites is the uh, grilled cheese. Yeah. And uh, it's a grilled cheese with raspberry and three types of cheese on it. Pepper Jack, Povolone, and Cheddar. Ooh. And most people, when they first see it, they say raspberry grilled cheese. I would but eat that. If yeah. you I try love it. it, you will love it. I guarantee it. You don't um, have to sell me on it. Yeah, I right, love that sweet, yeah. tangy taste. Yeah. 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 And, and when people have it, they always come back for it again. Um, one of our signatures is also the uh, sweet potato pie. And yes. it's a recipe mm -hmm. my wife came up with. And we have a number of vegan options. Um, wow, a lot of, uh, that's good. Our customers are looking for that, and so that's something that we've recently introduced. That's awesome. And we're always uh, touring around with daily specials. Mm -hmm. um, the barbecue shrimp and grits is now um, oh, a, a oh. must-have. Oh, mm -hmm. oh. It is another one of my favorites, and uh, Chef Steven is playing around with a number of things that make people want to come back again and again. Yeah. Do yeah. you guys have some of those photos of back of town um, just to show some of the foods that you can get there on their menu? And Chef Steven working in the kitchen. Mike, can you put that up for us? Can you put that up for us back of town with Chef Steven working in the kitchen and some of the, um, some of the food items that they have there? Because I didn't know you. You're talking. See, he's, see when you start talking food. Yeah, <laughs> you know. And I'm vegan, so and vegan. Also yeah, that makes yeah. Me that's very all, isn't it? So it's yeah. like it's um, you know, the total man. You get whatever it is that your taste mm -hmm. is like. You know, Stephen just said. I'm sorry, Alonzo just said that he doesn't. He's not big of coffee drinker, yeah. and I'm not. I'm not a big coffee person yeah. either. But then you can go to a coffee parlor and you can have tea. Mm -hmm. You yeah. know, you can you can drink tea. You can drink coffee, mocha. There was a gentleman that um, sat next to me in your in your shop, and um, the guy came and brought him his coffee, and he called it American something Ameri Americano. Americano. Yeah. <laughs> Americano, uh -huh. and I'm drinking. I was like, "Hey, what is that? You know what? <laughs> you know? Yeah. What is that?" And he said, "It's black coffee, right. like like yeah. straight black." I mm. said, "Oh no, that's too strong <laughs> for me." Do you drink that, Liz? I do. It's like black espresso with hot water. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I never. 
add any milk, even if it's like non-dairy milk. I just mm -hmm. drink my coffee black. Really? Yeah, I'm pretty intense. And I, I, I have a friend of mine that drinks the coffee black like that too. Yeah. I just can't do it. I yeah. yeah, you got a taste for it. Really? Mm -hmm. See, it's I definitely acquire taste. It is. Yeah. I, I like. You have to give me some sweetness to my mm -hmm. coffee. I need. I need a little maple or mocha well, or something. I'll have a cookie on the side, mm -hmm. so you With know I can take coffee. a sip of my bitter coffee and then mm, cookie. Coffee. Yeah, and those are things that we do because a lot of times we get customers who want to come to Back of Town because they've heard of it by word of mouth, they've seen it online. We have yeah. a strong social media presence, so a lot of people come and they just want to be on the scene, yeah. not really knowing what they're asking for. And so, oh, okay, I, see, that yeah. would have been me. I would have yeah. been like, I'll have an americano. Is am I saying it right? Yeah, yeah. I would be yeah. saying that, and then when I sip that, I'd be like, What is what that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I was glad that I asked him, What is that? You know, yeah. Yeah. But, but the staff is, is good at uh, determining, you know, who the drinkers are, who the first timers are, and so we often make suggestions. Would you like to add some caramel, or would you like a pastry on the side? so you can balance it because it may be okay. kind of strong That's when you awesome. first try it. So uh, yeah. we recognize that. And so, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, tea service that we have, mm. um, that's beginning to outpace our coffee sales. And it's, it's interesting to know that at certain times of day when one is higher than the other. All right. And uh, what demographic goes in that direction. And so when the customer comes in, and they say, I heard of this place, I'm not a coffee drinker, what do you suggest? Yeah. So we have a whole nother option uh, for that customer. Right. When a customer comes in and says, hey, I'm vegan, I heard about the business, but I just want to support so something, what do you yeah. have for me? So that's why we introduced a whole vegan line of pastries. And we're also working with uh, some lunch items as well that are vegan. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, wow. it sounds like it's just a community center almost. Yes. yes. It and has yes. so much to offer. You have something for everyone so yes. everyone feels welcome and comfortable yes, but it's really about just bringing people together exactly and that's that's what's the purpose that we wanted that was the vibe that we wanted to bring and mm -hmm. it's just my wife did an awesome job uh, my wife Jessica she did an awesome job in doing the research of the business uh, she did the research of what the brownstones looked like mm. back then and Jessica, awesome. Look. Hats off to you. Yeah. I love so the lights I love that it. you see are actually lights where chandeliers and, and things of that nature once hung. And so she did a spin on that. I love that. The Chesterfield sofa that you see mm -hmm. is what uh, was plush back in the day. And she introduced that and the color scheme that, that's ex existing there. Yeah. Uh, she got all of that inspiration from what once was there. So wow. she did an awesome job with that. I have to tip my hat off to her. Can't definitely, take any for that. definitely, <laughs> gotta gotta give you kudos, Jessica, yeah. um, for just doing that. That's pretty awesome, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I like when you have um, a creative mind, and then you bring in like all of the components that mm -hmm. help you build and bring it together. Yes. You yeah. know, yeah, that's that's really nice. So the the teas, mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to be in there. You're going to be like, Mary J, do you have an <laughs> office? This is my office. You know, this is my office because I go from coffee shop to coffee shop and I love different locations. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you one of my locations were back in um, in the French quarters. I did a mm -hmm. lot of writing there. Mm -hmm. um, so now I have another spot. So you yeah, want, We want you to come. We yeah. want you to be a regular because we, we set the environment for that to be conducive for that. Yeah. The music is always at a minimum level. Right. And that's a good thing. Not over -talk oh, the music. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, the music that background that you hear is 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 a modern take. So you're hearing beats and new mm. artists that you don't necessarily hear on the radio. Wow. And that's something that was intentional in, in, in that whole design of what we wanted to be that meeting space. So you can come, mm. you can have a friend, you can do book work, right? Uh, oh, be I creative, hear the music in the you background it's nice. and take in the space. We have a lot of windows where you can see oh. passerbys going. And so I'm proud of it. Oh. It's, it's like my little baby. Look, I was yeah. proud of it. <laughs> when I, I was like, who's the owner? You know, let me speak to him because I love the space as well. Thank and you, you said something that is so key for me. 
being able to have the music set just right, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. because I'm going to tell you all, you know, I'm a customer service person. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was in management customer service for mm -hmm. over seven and a half years, and I'm very mm -hmm. fickle. You know, I right. like good customer yeah. service. Mm -hmm. And I would sit in, um, I'm not going to throw the name out of there, but <laughs> I would sit in that spot and I'd be like, this music is so loud. Can yeah. you turn it down a little yeah. bit? Yeah. And they'll look at me like, you're not the only one that has to listen to this right. music. Right. Let me speak to your manager, mm -hmm. please. Because if you, if you going to attract business owners, mm -hmm. business um, men and women to come mm -hmm. there. If I'm conducting business or having a meeting, I got to right. talk so loud right. yeah. that I can't Everyone really. Everyone can hear all exactly. your business. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. And if I'm, yeah. if I'm doing a webinar or if I'm on the phone, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. they hear all the music in the background that's yeah. so loud that mm -hmm. I can't even hear myself. Right. So yeah. that's, that's pretty cool. Listen, yeah. guys, we're going right into this commercial break, but we don't want you to go anywhere. We want you to sit back, relax. Don't go anywhere because we're going to bring to you more entrepreneur street with Alonzo Knox and Liz Lerman Butler on today. We're getting ready to go on a commercial break. We'll be right back after this. Hi, I'm Evangelist Melanie Pichon. Listen, I'd like to invite you to view our Forgiven Talk Show every Thursday from 11 a.m. Central Standard Time until 12 noon. We talk about issues. We talk about challenges. We talk about those things, really, that other folks don't want to talk about. Listen, if you want to talk about something, if you want to give us some suggested ideas, comment below, and we'll do our best to get at you. Remember, every Thursday from 11 a.m. Central Standard Time until 12 noon, the Forgiven Talk Show. Are you looking for a home to live stream your next event? Give us a call here at Bethesda Community Event Center, the only place on a golf course that can host and broadcast live your wedding reception, your baby shower, business seminar, and any other special event. Give us a call at 504-708-9454 for more details. What's up, readers and shapers? It's your girl, Rhonda M. Lawson, sending you a personal invite to the Literary Lounge. Tune in to Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions each Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for the best in literary conversation. Each week, a different author will join us to talk to their most important readers, you. You can also call in to ask your own questions. So don't forget, each Wednesday at 7 p.m., join us in the lounge for Horizons with Meet the World Image Solutions. See you there. We're back from our commercial break. We're right here in my studio. And today you've tuned in to Real Talk with Mary J. We're right here in New Orleans, neworleanstalknetwork.com. So hello out there in Facebook land and radio land and all around the world. I hope you're having a happy Merry Monday today. I am. We're in the studio with Liz Lerman Butler and Alonzo Knox today. These entrepreneurs, powerhouses, I'm telling you, they're going to bring you some creative ideas. You don't want to miss back of town, guys. You want to go there. I'm telling you, that's a really good spot that I'm letting you in on the secret because that's where I get away. I like these little eclectic places that I can just hide out and just do my work and vibe on my downtime as well. So back of town is the place to be. Liz is sharing with you her creative ability as it relates to graphic design. So if you're looking for a graphic designer, Liz is your girl. You know, she can put those logos together for you, book designs, binding, and all of that, the whole nine yards. So we're excited to have these entrepreneurs sharing with us again. So guys, I want you all, before we go off the air today, um, let them know exactly how they can get in touch with you, you know, where you can be contacted at, how do they go on um, Facebook or give them your handles and let them know how to follow you, Liz. Sure. So, um, Lady Liz Lerman, Lady underscore Liz underscore Lerman. That's um, all of my art 
So I don't have a graphic design um, Instagram or social media because it's like, you know, clients that I'm working for right, that don't necessarily stuff. want all of their stuff out there before they're ready. So um, that's just my own personal art. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to reach out, if you're looking for some branding, logos, illustrations, um, it's hello at lizlerman.net. So that's L-I-Z-L-E-R-M-A-N dot net. And yeah. you'll be able to find me. And you'll be able to find me there. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And you can always reference my show right here at Real Talk with Mary J. You can send an email to me as well at Real Talk with Mary J A E at Outlook.com. And you know, let me know that you would like to get in touch with Liz Lerman Butler and I'll make sure that I connect you with her as well. Alonzo, will you tell the people where you are and um, how they can reach you as well? Sure. Um, as I mentioned, we're lo physically located at 301 Basin Street. Sweet one, and we're on social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter with the handle Back of Town NOLA. It's all one word, and that's two ends, Back of Town NOLA. Back of Town NOLA, yes. yes. We're going to be going Back of Town, Liz, right? Yes. yes. Right, and um, what are your hours of operation as well? We're open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, and 8 to 5 on Saturdays and Sundays. Eight to five on Saturdays and Sundays? Yes. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. I, I'm sure our next sit and sit will be by you guys. I'm sure I of can't it. Wait to have you. Yeah, especially Sundays, you know. <laughs> we're gonna yeah. we're gonna hang out back in town before we go on to the Blue Nile yeah. and <laughs> listen to my daughter, my kid Javon. So listen guys, if you're ever in the New Orleans area, especially downtown, drop by back of town. You mm -hmm. won't be sorry that you did, okay? So you won't be sorry. I promise you that. So, guys, I'm glad to have you on the show once again. It's been a wonderful day sharing with you yes. all. I hope you had a Merry Monday. Listen, if you guys have those those photos of Alonzo with Back of Town, can you put those up for us once more before we go off? Look at that space. Yes. And tell your wife I said hello. What an awesome idea! Um, just to bring that look into the space there. Can we see some of the the food that they have there at Back of Town as well, guys? I know I'm working you. I love you guys. I love my producers. I be working them on the show. <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at that. Yes. I think mm -hmm. there's some um, food, too. I think that quiche is there that you spoke about. I don't know if the um, you spoke about a, a crab bis, a crawfish a biscuit. Crawfish quiche. Yeah, a crawfish mm -hmm. quiche, yeah. Um, so um, we want to be able to patronize that as well. Um, can you put Liz's graphic art up once more before we close out? Yes. Pretty cool stuff. Yes. Yeah. I get excited when I um, see business owners that are thriving and doing their thing because I just love, I always talk about um, life being a naked canvas. That's my little, you know, um, play on words of how I see life to be because you can create it and make it become whatever you want it to be. Um, whatever is in you will flow out of you, you know, and like Liz Absolutely. said, you just yes. kept tapping into because you had so much, you know, mm -hmm. you were able to do so much, but the thing that you love the most is what drove you, you know, yes. in the direction where you are. And I'm sure um, Alonzo as well of just being Absolutely. able to bring those ideas along with your creative, powerful wife. Mm -hmm. I got to give it to her <laughs> because, you know, that's pretty awesome to just bring that together and have that balance yes. and one mm -hmm. be on the creative end as well as the administrative and business right. size and then the other be the driver as it relates to making it all come together and make it happen. Yeah. yeah. So thank you guys once again for coming into the studio with us on today. I hope you had a happy Merry Monday yeah, today. No I told you I was going to. I, I, I love it. I Where love bringing. Yeah. Did, didn't <laughs> yeah. I tell you that? Right. Like, Where did it go? Right. It's already. And I just have to say, since I have to say 
my husband, just like your wife, <laughs> <laughs> my husband has helped yes. me so much and encouraged me so much. Local musician Jason Butler, right. who plays with your daughter. Mike yes, Kia. Jay is awesome. Yes, Jay I have is to awesome. thank him for being so encouraging and awesome too. Well, yeah. I need to put another plug in. You should tell both <laughs> of them that we're gonna have what we call back of town unplug, featuring oh, local wow. musicians to come yeah. in once a week. So. Be on the lookout for that. That's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. All right, Jay. Jay Butler, my boy. That bad boy. <laughs> playing the piano. That's a maestro right there. Creative in his own way. He's bad, Liz. Yeah. He's he needs to be on here. He has been. What? Yes. He's been on here before you. Actually, Jay came on with Noah Young. Oh, they okay. came on my show, I think it was last year sometime, um, I did a show called Art and Soul, and mm. Jay was on here. Yes, right, he beat you to it. That. Yeah, he beat you to it. So guess what, guys? We're out of time. You've tuned in to Real Talk with Mary J. Always bringing you the hottest topics from social to spiritual right here on Real Talk with Mary J. on NOTN. Go download the app notn follow us there go follow us at real talk with mary j a e and have a happy merry monday thank you for coming in and sharing with us guys thank you oh, thank you listeners are as important as our guests. Join in on the conversation. 504-341-8255. The New Orleans 